went through something crazy and lovely and something that I think we'll always recognize that it's only the other ones of us that truly know what it was like to go through it. Daniel Radcliffe is a renowned British actor. He's best known for playing Harry Potter in the Harry Potter film series, for which he's won many accolades and nominations. Radcliffe made his feature film debut in The Tailor of Panama at the age of 10 in the BBC One television drama David Copperfield. He later starred in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in the same year. He went on to portray the title role in seven sequels over the following decade, concluding in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. During this time, he rose to become one of the highest paid actors in the world, gaining international recognition, popularity, and critical acclaim. But it, but it genu genuinely is always like a lot more in the, the media than in actuality. Like I have never been contacted by anybody about any future Harry Potter films. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Daniel Jacob Radcliffe, but is also known as Harry Potter. He was born July 23, 1989 in London, England, making him 32 at the time of this production. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall. As a hobby, he enjoys playing bass guitar and writing short stories and poetry. He's even published a few poems under the pen name Jacob Gershon. He's also named Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix as his favorite novel in the Harry Potter series. He explained that it's because it concerns Harry's connection with Sirius Black, the series' most intriguing character. Perhaps not first up, but certainly publicly known, Daniel Radcliffe and Laura O'Toole met each other at the time when they performed next to each other in the stage play Equus in London's West End. The young Irish actress landed the role of his girlfriend in the play, appearing together in steamy scenes. It was obvious that the chemistry worked immediately between them, and they continued seeing each other supposedly secretly when the play ended in May 2007. It didn't take long for them to make their on-stage romance a reality since they started their relationship in July of the same year. Even though they never made the relationship public, it was clear that the two of them were more than friends. Besides that, Radcliffe has dated a crew member, Rosie Coker. He was also linked to Alana Dawes and crew member Olive Unicky. And he's been dating actress Aaron Dark since 2012. I mean, I... God, if... You, you know, I don't even know the... My head was turned spinning every day. Like, I, I mean, I think I had a new crush on some girl on set all the time. Daniel Radcliffe is the sole child of Marcia Janine Gresham and literary agent Alan George Radcliffe. His Jewish mother was born in South Africa and reared in the English village of Westcliffe-on-Sea. She traced her lineage to Jewish immigrants from Germany, Lithuania, Poland, and Russia. His Protestant father grew up in a very working-class Protestant household in Bainbridge, Northern Ireland, his mother has worked as a casting agent on BB shows such as The Inspector Lindley Mysteries. Radcliffe attended Redcliffe School, Sussex House School, and the City of London School, all of which are private institutions for boys in London. Following the release of the first Harry Potter film, he found it difficult to attend school because some of his classmates were unfriendly. But he claims that they were just attempting to have a laugh at the kid who portrays Harry Potter rather than behaving jealously. He maintains his studies via onset tutors while his acting profession took over his schedule. He has confessed to being a poor student who considers education to be pointless and finds employment very tough. In 2006, he received A marks in all three AS level examinations he took, but he chose to take a vacation from school and did not attend university. Part of the reasons were that he already knew he wanted to be an actor and screenwriter and that a typical college experience would be tough for him. In 2000, Radcliffe was invited to audition for the title role in the first Harry Potter film, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. After a number of callback auditions and an eight-month wait, he was offered the role. It would become the breakout that brought him international fame and wealth. The first Harry Potter film was released in 2001, and young Daniel reportedly received a paycheck of $1 million. The second film of the series, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, was released a year later and earned similar box office success. It also earned Radcliffe a fee of $3 million. 
Although those numbers sound high to most of us, they're nothing compared to the paychecks Radcliffe would command for the remaining movies of the series. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, released in 2004, earned Radcliffe a payday of $6 million. He went on to make $11 million for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and $14 million for Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, released in 2005 and 2007, respectively. The sixth movie, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, reportedly brought Daniel another $24 million. The last book of the series was split into two films, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, released in 2010, and Part 2, released in 2011. Radcliffe's combined earnings from both movies were $50 million. As the series continued to grow in popularity and acclaim, Daniel Radcliffe and his co-stars became international celebrities. At age 16, Radcliffe became the youngest non-royal to have his portrait hung in the National Portrait Gallery. In 2006, Radcliffe and his two main co-stars, Emma Watson and Rupert Grint, were invited to leave imprints of their hands, feet, and wands outside of Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. Reviews of the films were generally favorable, and the series became the highest-grossing film franchise ever right after the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies and Star Wars. Although Daniel's early career was focused on the Harry Potter franchise, he did perform in other roles during those years. In 2006, at the age of 17, Daniel Radcliffe performed on stage in the play Equus in its first revival since its first run in 1973. Radcliffe took on the lead role of Alan Strang, a stable boy who has an obsession with horses. It was a significant departure from his typical youthful roles and showed the world that he had the acting chops to expand his repertoire. His performance received positive reviews and the critics were impressed with the depth of his against type role. Shortly after the Harry Potter franchise ended, he appeared on stage in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying and again received favorable reviews. In 2012, he appeared in The Woman in Black, his first post-Harry Potter film project. As of now, he continues to perform on stage and in films. ...by anybody about any future Harry Potter films. So, you know, it's I don't think it's something that is, uh, is, is coming, but, like, of course, now that I have said that... In 2006, Radcliffe was included on the Sunday Times Rich List with a personal worth of $14 million, making him one of the UK's wealthiest young people. He was rated number one on Forbes' Most Valuable Young Stars list in March 2009, and by April, the Daily Telegraph estimated his net worth to be $30 million, making him the UK's 12th wealthiest young person. Later that year, Radcliffe was dubbed England's wealthiest teenager. He was designated the sixth highest paid Hollywood male star in February 2010 and was ranked number five on Forbes' December list of Hollywood's highest grossing actors, with a film income of $780 million, owing to the release of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows that year. Radcliffe's net worth is estimated to be around $110 million. Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe owns a $5.6 million apartment on the west side of New York City. The actor's home includes five bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a total of 3,000 square feet. He's currently residing in this house, and it's reported that he doesn't own any other real estate. Cars you'll discover in Daniel Radcliffe's garage include a LR Range Rover autobiography, a BMW X5, a Volkswagen Passat, and a Fiat Punto.